What's going on, Ice Bacon? Today we are here on Warcraft 3, and I said in I said in one of my videos that I was going to I was gonna think about uploading this, and right now I just feel like I have I have like no choice but to upload this because um, the video I uploaded yesterday I um, said that I I had to record eight videos in one day. Well, that's exactly what I'm doing. So today you guys are seeing this is I recorded it yesterday and the video that you guys you guys are gonna see and seven days after this one I recorded it eight days ago if that makes any sense to you but come out here on to Warcraft 3 we're just gonna get right into it with a campaign uh wait we are on my friend's account hold on just a second I got to change accounts let's uh get out of there um how do I do this I forget how I do this the single player. I got it. profile menu. Change the profile. Uh, let's go. It's bacon. That's gonna be mine. Then select. There we go. So we're gonna get into this campaign, and we are going to do a normal difficulty, and we're gonna do the prologue campaign, which is Exodus of the Horde. So let's get right into this. Uh, what happened? What? Did it go in the full screen for me? The sands of time have run out, son of Duratan. The cries of war echo. Hold on. What just happened? Um. Ah, uh, what just happened? Okay, I don't know what that was all about. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Because that was annoying. Hold on, I will fix it for you guys. Hold on. I'm going to fix this. And that should be, no, that should be good. That perfect, it's not perfect, but you know what it will do. I don't know what happened, but we're just gonna get right into this. Okay, here we go. Oh, sorry, I had to skip that. What kind of nightmare was that? It was not a nightmare, young war chief, but a vision. Follow me. And I will reveal what your future holds. Very quickly, uh, I have. I know what this is all Hold about, on. But I'll play along. I have played this game before, so uh, I I kind of know what what it's all about. I haven't actually finished the campaign though, so the I'll just get right into this. Follow the narrator's directions and find still the prophet. done. However, the orc encampment is still far off. In order to reach the next banner, Can't scroll do the screen to the north by moving your mouse to the top edge of the screen. Very good. The path to the next banner leads through a black area. This black area represents terrain that is not... Notice how the black area shrinks as Thrall moves through it. This probably stop. areas you have explored. Select Thrall and order him to move to the banner in the middle of the encampment. For honor. And to see a list of messages to play during your game, click on the log bot button at the top of your screen. Lokar, my warriors. We are yours to command, War Chief. In order to have Thrall and his troops move together, you must first select all of them. Look regard. Just like that. Now that your troops are all selected, order them to move to the next banner. Yes. Gonna use this thing at the You can also move your map. By click and hold and hold in order thralls forces at the bottom left foul creature select all of your troops click on the attack button and then click on the knoll you don't have to click on the attack one you just right click on the freaking knoll hmm, this was only a scout but the knoll's camp lies just ahead order your troops to perform an aggressive attack move into the enemy encampment to do this select all of your troops 
Click the attack button and then left click on the ground in the middle of the null camp. Again, just right click. You don't have to click the attack button. What, guys, what are you talking about is that? Oh, frick. <laughs> Go back here. What he's talking about is that, uh, this, you click on this attack button, and then you click on the ground. But you can just right click and it does the same exact thing. So, uh, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know why it sounds to do this, but the re reason I'm playing the campaign is just in case, like, you guys want to see the campaign before I actually do, like, custom Notice scenarios. That gained a level from the experience that he earned in combat. Only heroes can acquire experience, allowing them to become incredibly powerful over time. Heroes gain a hero point whenever they advance in level. These points can be used to acquire new abilities or to improve previously learned ones. To spend Thrall's hero point, select him and click on the Hero Abilities button in the bottom right corner of your screen. Whenever you click on the Hero Ability... Uh, very quickly, I'm just going to test something. That's not, not what I'm doing right now <laughs> in the game. Okay, if I do that, that will look like that. Okay, hold on, I got this. Guys, I'm gonna fix this per- I'm gonna make this perfect. Okay, it's- it's not- it's not perfect, but... It- it will do! It, it will do. It's gonna make- it's gonna make my job easier, and it's also make it so that you guys is, you, you guys can see that. So... Just move back down if it lets me- okay. Alright there. Okay, we're good. So, now what I do? Yes. Keep on... Scouting ahead, I'm guessing. Dabu. We need to far side yes. right here. Dabu. War Chief, we've discovered a group of Murloc raiders in the nearby river. The Murlocs would make excellent targets for your new chain lightning spell. To have Thrall use his new ability, click on the chain lightning button and then left click on hmm. Some monsters I did that. <laughs> treasure when they are defeated. This particular treasure chest can order Thrall's forces to explore up the river following the banners. Also, if you got if you guys hear him like stop talking and you want and you want to hear him talking, what I'm doing is what he's about to say. So I I right clicked on the uh, the treasure that the Murloc dropped and then I went to the inventory and left clicked and to increase my mana. So yeah, th I'm just doing exactly that. This first mission is literally just a tutorial. So yeah. <laughs> Look, Naros. Hmm. For honor. Throw a move. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now we're trying to go here. Signifies that night has begun. Be wary, my warriors. Don't let nightfall dull your senses. Oh, can I attack deer? I wonder. <laughs> don't even. I don't actually know that. An ogre. We'd have a fierce battle on our hands if the beast weren't sleeping. Yeah, I'm not gonna attack him. Sleeping monster wake up and attack him, sorry, but I'm just not gonna attack him. <laughs> sorry if you guys want me to attack him, but I'm just not gonna. I just, I'm just gonna get through this and do the second mission. I'm only gonna do the first two missions. I, I'd probably only, I'm probably only gonna do the, um, wait, honey, he's about to talk. I'll, I'll finish, I'll finish my thing. Oh, wait, no, he's not about to talk, is he? Yes. Okay, he's about to talk. Okay, I'll finish my sentence later. Greetings, son of Duratan. I knew you'd find your way. It was you I saw in the vision. Who are you? How do you know me? I know many things, young war chief, about you and your people. My identity at this time is unimportant. What is important? is that you rally your people and leave these shores immediately. Leave? What's this all about, human? Human? <laughs> I left my humanity behind long ago. I am something different now. Know that I have seen the future and beheld the great burning shadow that is coming to consume this world. You sense it as well, don't you? Are returning. Yes, and only by leading your people across the sea to the distant lands of Kalimdor will you have a chance to stand against them. But how can we? I will answer all of your questions in time, young war chief. For now, rally your warriors and prepare to leave this land. We will.
will speak again. That not none of this makes sense. But the spirits tell me that I should trust him. That it? There we go. Okay. So I'm probably only usually I'm probably only gonna do like the first uh the first the one mission in each episode, but since that one was just a tutorial, I will do two missions. And unless the second one's a tutorial as well, then uh yeah. Thralls, encampment, internment internment camp. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Come on, if it lets me. I think I remember the second mission mission. But at the same time I don't know if I do. Just indicate indicate there we go. It's been three days, and this prophet has yet to show himself. I hope I'm not making a huge mistake by trusting him. Warchief, the clans are assembling as you ordered, but it will take them some time to reach us. Then we must prepare this camp immediately. I want my warriors to have food and proper lodgings when they arrive. Yes, Warchief. Warrior, has there been any word from Grom Hellscream? He and the Warsong clan were supposed to have been here by now. No, Warchief. We haven't heard from Hellscream in some time. Damn it, Grom. Where the hell are you? Okay. So establish a base, build a burrow, build a war mail, build a barracks, the train find the the screen Indicates that your quest journal has been updated. To find out more about your objectives, click on the quest button. Yep. Yeah. Okay, establish a base. Something you're doing? Build a burrow. Peons can harvest gold from gold mines such as oh. the one located here. They're gonna do that, okay. Once a peon has been ordered to harvest gold, he will automatically travel back and forth between the gold mine and your closest great hall. Here are a few oh. additional well, peons. thank you. <laughs> to increase the rate of gold collection, order them to harvest from the same gold mine. The amount of gold that you currently possess is displayed oh, in the upper right portion of your screen. As peons return to your great hall with gold, your gold stockpile increases. Now that your gold income is steady, you will want to produce additional peons to construct the rest of your base. To train a peon, first select your great hall. Training a unit takes time. When your great hall is selected, you can see a progress indicator in the bottom middle portion of your screen. Okay. So basically, what this is just Ready exactly what we're gonna be doing. I just got. I want to make. In order four to support a larger population, additional okay. well, what do we have to do? I will forget. have to be constructed. Burrows burrow. provide the food that allows you to train more troops. Ah, okay, to no, construct right, a burrow, no, okay. select one of your peons. Now, click on the Build Structure button in the command card. Oh, Notice God. that additional buttons are now available in the command card. To construct an orc burrow... There we go. And then I need to build a war mill, barrack, and train five grunts. Got it. Ready to work. What in order to want? produce additional buildings, you must gather more lumber from the nearby forests. To harvest lumber, select a peon and right-click on a nearby tree. Now that your peon has been assigned to gather lumber, he will automatically travel back and forth between the forest and your closest great hall. Okay, so that's gonna be that. We will have or see a uh, war mail. War mail. Boom. Can't build that. I can do that. Frick you. <laughs> okay. Well so the alliance is here, right? I believe. That's just water. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Okay, so this this guy's about to be done. I need to make a barracks right, right after this. Work complete, yes. Where's the barracks? Barracks, barracks, right here. We need more gold. Okey dokey. There we go. Okay. Once we build this, we should be able to train five grunts. Okay, and then move on. Hopefully, this video isn't that long because I don't want I don't want to edit that much. Okay, so we should. Let's get on with it. I'm just gonna skip this.
I'm not gonna let you guys sit through this. I'm literally just complete. I just have to wait for the barracks to be built and then I'm gonna train five grunts. So I'll be right back when the barracks is done. You orcs are in violation of the Alliance Internment Act. We've already captured one of your leaders. If you surrender now, we'll spare your lives. War Chief, they say they've captured one of our leaders. Maybe they're referring to Grom. I hope not. But if they have captured Hellscream, I'll make them regret it. Look, Tarogar! Come, my warriors. We must drive the humans back. Okay. So, basically... Basically, what we're doing is we're going to be attacking some humans. Because the, the humans, we are fighting the humans uh, it's like it's like horde against the alliance and the orcs are on the horde the alliance or the humans are on the alliance the other guys in this game are night elves and undead undead horde night elves are alliance so yeah I should just be able to kill all of them do want to be even okay so now let's just push through the wretched humans have been or destroyed Move Thrall and the rest of your forces across the bridge and locate Grom. Okay. Dabu. Just, One of your structures oh, well, was damaged during the fight. To repair a damaged building, select a peon, click the repair button, and then left click on the desired structure. Um, I don't really care because it's not gonna do anything. Uh, yeah, it has to be, yeah, what does that, okay. Right here. That's a profit? No, okay. No, no, frick. No, guys, just, just run through, run through. Don't, don't bother. Don't bother getting anything else. Okay, let's go down. Kill you. time has come. I can kill you. Kill this man. Wait, what? Shaman, this broadcast has a range. Oh, I can use them. Okay. When you control multiple spellcasters at the same time, it often becomes necessary to quickly switch between them to cast their individual spells. By using the subgroup interface, you can do so without having to try to select them individually. Second Notice five. that the currently selected units are displayed in the bottom middle portion of your screen by little portraits. One of the unit portraits is highlighted with a yellow glow. This means that it is the currently activated subgroup. You can switch between subgroups by pressing the tab key or left clicking on one of the portraits that is not highlighted. This activates that subgroup and displays their spells in your command card. Yeah, that that just left just left click on the shaman down there. Oh, right, we're good. So let's kill, let's go kill this guy. Dabu. For the horse. Okay, and we gotta attack Dabu. you now. Okay, I'm having a conversation with my friend over the phone, and I'm, he doesn't know I'm recording. I'm, got, I got, I'm gonna see if I can actually do this. If I can, I like, keep on talking to him. For Doom and, and like, so I wanna see if I can keep on talking to him and record at the same time. That would be pretty funny. Ah, oh, funny. Uh, impressive. Oh, hi. I didn't even know I got you guys. Let's get on with it. Alright, let's, uh, yeah, let's get on with it, okay. So, let's go up here. It's so hard trying to control it with the, uh, thing, with the thing down there. War Chief, we found where they're holding Grom, but the area is protected by fortified Maybe that. Then I don't like doing that. Hillstream must be freed. The sort of guard towers from, guard, guard towers guarding Grom. Okay, let's go in. None 
will survive. Killing a shaman. No. Can I just go to the middle? I don't have to do anything. No, I have to kill these things. Okay. What's gonna be the first unit to die, I wonder? Oh, probably the shaman right now. Like he's taking hit oh wait, one the shaman's already died. Okay, both the shamans are dead now. That's all that's being attacked. Well, we, well, as soon as this is destroyed, we should be good. We good? Hmm. Circle of power? Okay, we're good. Ron, are you alright? I'm fine, little brother. Luckily, they only injured my pride. Great, because we're getting out of here now. We're leaving the human lands for good. Finally, follow me. I have an idea. <laughs> we can set sail on the humans' own ships. <laughs> Perfect. But we'll need to wait for the rest of the horde. The horde is assembled, War Chief. We await only your command. That was quick. Now, go, young Thrall. Sail west to the lands of Kalimdor. It is there that you will find your destiny. It is there that your people's salvation will be assured. Well, that's that, and uh, don't go into the next one. Okay, we're not going into the next one. That's good for me, but, uh, wait a minute, was that? That was the entire prologue campaign. I really have to do, go to the human campaign. Okay, whatever. So, <laughs> that's going to be it for this video. Um, hopefully you guys uh, like this. Because I really I really li li like this game. But I already closed out. I probably shouldn't have closed out of the game instantly. But anyways, if you guys want to see more of this game, uh, tell me in the comments down below. And I will make sure to do more of this game. So anyways, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you slap that like button and subscribe for more. Hope to see all you dudes in the next video. Peace. Here we go!